Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well and get ready for a massive and really exciting naval battle. So a couple of months ago we did this fight, modernized 2025 US carrier group versus 2025 Chinese carrier group. And now we're ready to remodernize it with the next layer of technology that we've added to game. And then of course when we get the next layer down the road we'll redo it again in a couple of months. So what's changed since this September video? Video. For the United States, we now have the F-35 Sidekick modification. This allows an extra two air-to-air -air weapons in the internal weapons bay. Let's see how much difference that makes. Next, the latest US weapon, the AIM-260 JTAM, we now have in DCS. So we are replacing the AIM-120D with the AIM-260. How much is that going to swing the battle against China? Next. Anti-ship weapons, and this is really important. We've now replaced the aging Harpoon series of missiles with the latest AGM 158C Larasm A subsonic stealth anti-ship missile. Let's see how that does. And for the Chinese, we've replaced their aging YJ-83s and 62s with their supersonic YJ-12, which came into service four years ago. And we've replaced their original PL-15 long-range missile with the latest version 2 PL-15 long-range air-to-air missile. Let's see how these things change the face of the battle. So, many days have passed since we did our original carrier battles, which saw the fleet set 70 nautical miles away from each other. Now we've had to move it up to 220 miles because of the ever-increasing ranges of the air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. China will have one CV Type 0036 destroyers, Type 052C. Currently, that's the maximum tech we have in game. We will replace these with the 055 series of new destroyers when they're ready. 60 warplanes, her maximum complement, 30 4th gen J-15 air-to-air -air and 30 anti-ship. Two AWACS, KJ-600 type, plus some human players, giving a total of 7 ships and 62 AI aircraft. United States, one CV Gerald Ford, again, our analogue for it, two cruisers Tyco, assuming they'll still be there in 2025, four destroyers Arleigh Burke, definitely will still be there in 2025, one naval air wing, consisting three squadrons warplanes, squadron one, 24 fifth gen fighters F-35C, squadron two, 24, whoops, I meant to say fourth gen, 4th Gen Fighters, Super Hornet, FA-18F, we don't have the Echo in-game, or not that we can get working, air-to-air, -air, and the anti-ship, next squadron, 24, 4th Gen anti-ship Super Hornet, plus 2 E-2 Hawkeyes, AWACS, total 7 ships, 74 AI aircraft. Let's look at the coalitions in more detail, obviously based around the CV, which in 2025 is almost certainly going to be Gerald Ford. Our analogue is a Nimitz class. Aboard her are 1st Squadron, 5th Gen F-35C, 24 of AI. All skill level is set to maximum. Using the sidekick mod in the internal bay, we now have 6 AIM-260 JTAM, range 135 nautical miles. Don't worry about these pylons, they will not be there. And she will be in stealth configuration, radar cross section 0 0.005 meters squared. The hostiles will be able to see her at about 15 to 18 nautical miles. Orders, they are to take off and fight until they run out of long range missiles. So once they're out, they will RTB and they are not equipped with the gun pods. They are ordered to do maximum range launches. You guys said that maybe stealth fighters should fire at no escape range rather than max launch range and I agree with you. Currently the way we've set these missiles up just doesn't work at the moment. Until we get that fixed, max range launch. Squadron 2 Super Hornets air to air, 24 of, otherwise set to exactly the same max range launch and RTB once we're out of long range missiles, equipped with two AIM-9X on the wingtips and I think that's 14 AIM-260s. Squadron 3 anti-ship Super Hornet, 24 of, set to RTB once they are out of anti-ship weapons, equipped with four AGM-158C Larasm A stealth missiles and some self-defense missiles six. Now we've listened to you, the valued viewers, about how you want these Larasm A's set up. And you say they're not like harpoons, they're much more intelligent. They can choose which ship they attack. And so we've made them 
as you requested. Of those 24, 12 will go here and 12 will go here. That's because we have two modes of firing these weapons, normal mode and battleship mode. Normal mode means that when they detect a sea target through their radar or through the data link, they will fire on it. Those missiles will then travel under basic INS GPS guidance 20 miles from the suspected target location. They turn their own radar on and they attack the nearest target they see. Then we have battleship mode. Battleship mode does the same thing, but when the missile turns its own radar on, it will look for the ship with the biggest radar cross-section, the biggest tonnage. Assuming that's a carrier, it will attack that. So these guys in normal mode, these guys in battleship mode, and we'll see how it works. Next, escort ships. All ships are controlled by humans today. There will be a human admiral on each side, two Tycos and three, uh, four Arleigh Burks. Next, human players we haven't actually decided the teams yet but the us will have either a stealth f-35c with sidekick six jtams or they can have a completely non-stealth super bog with 14 aim 260s and a couple of sidewinders AWACS, two E2Ds at 30,000 feet. Redundancy is really important, obviously, because if they lose one AWACS, they need some redundant AWACS. On to the Chinese. Fujian is just played by Supercarrier. I don't suppose anyone else is going to do it, so we are going to try and make our own Fujian and our own Gerald Ford, but expect six months probably before they're done. So, an image it is for now. 60 aircraft on board. First, Squadron 30 J15 Bravo. Modern air-to-air -air aircraft, they are set up the same as the Americans' max range launch, as you would expect, and RTB when they're out of missiles. They can land on their aircraft carrier, they don't just crash into the sea, with a massive amount of the newly modified version 2 PL-15 long-range missiles, range about 120 nautical miles in perfect scenario. And for self-defense PL-10, think AIM-9X. After those 30 are up, of course, we've got the anti-shippers, and they will be equipped not with aging subsonic missiles, but with these beauties, the YJ-12, really interesting piece of tech. China tends to use force to get their missiles through to carrier groups. They either do really fast missiles like this, a Mark IV missile, or they do hypersonic missiles, which we're going to add into game, whereas America does it differently. They use Larasm A, which is stealth. Really interesting point here, valued viewers. In real life, YJ-12 has a range of about 250 miles. In-game, it's only 125 miles. Again, there's a bug, and yet they run out of fuel at 125 miles. I've lobbied the makers of the core game, because these are core game missiles. I can't get to them and fix them. I've lobbied the uh, makers of the game to fix it, and they haven't, and I don't suppose they will. So I'm going to leave it to you guys, the valued viewers, to put pressure on the developers to fix that. They can carry two of them. They'll launch at 125 nautical miles. They can't carry anything else. And we've had to modify the airframe slightly just so they can take off with these missiles because they weigh several tons each. Can the real J-15 carry two? We're not actually sure yet. And we're probably never going to find out. But we're going to go with two 60 anti-ship supersonic missiles. Because they are core game missiles, we do not have the intelligent seeker heads on them. So they will just attack the closest ship to them. Support ships, six 052C destroyers that you all know by now, pretty decent vessels. Two AWACS, and of course, humans, which are just going to be in the air-to-air -air derivative of the J-15 Flying Shark with all the long-range missiles. And that is the Chinese, guys. So, before we go boom boom, we need to make predictions. You've seen what everything is equipped with here. We've tested stuff works and it does, but we've not run it all through together. Can we have some predictions at which side is gonna win? I've got a shark with freaking radar attached to its freaking head. I'm gonna win with that. Has it got any lasers? Yes. Purely out of interest, we're developing our own lasers and rail guns to go on the new series of carriers, but it's going to be way off before you see any of that. Right, Sock thinks China. Anyone going for America? Yes. Uh, America? Huh. Yes. First off, the range, the radar detectability. F-35 is going to be more stealth. They're going to be able to pop off more shots, do air suppression. They'll probably be able to bleed into the anti-shipping. As long as they don't blow their load too early, mm -hmm. they'll prevent the anti-shipping aircraft from really being effective. I'm gonna say it's going to be whoever's air wing survives the longest air to air air wing. I'm gonna go for America because I'm not a huge fan of fifth gen fighters. I think they're a little bit cheaty, but they are so good, especially in DCS. They really do cream fourth gen, especially at these long ranges. And with the new missile, AIM-260 is not perfect yet. It's got a couple of bugs, but it's generally working pretty well. I don't see it anyway that China can win unless the humans do something amazing 
which can happen, or something goes wrong with the AI on Blues, but I doubt that will happen. And welcome into the battle, guys. The biggest, most technological battle so far. I'm super pumped for this because it's been a lot of work to get here. Simba is part-time admiral on China. Poosh, Drop, and Cannibal also on China. Only three on America today. Matrix, part-time admiral. Grump back from his time off and war dogs guys i wish you the best in three two one oof oh it's exciting let's have a look at the blue humans grump how does it feel to be an f-35c oh, oh it's great to be back in the air again uh let's have a look at the humans from the red side simba and matrix are busy controlling the ships around let's have a look at ai let's start with china today oh someone's about to take off j 15s taking off the measly little engines. Off they go. Super heavily loaded with PL-15 and SD-10. Simba is starting to move the destroyers, all 052C destroyers. We have plans to make the 055 destroyer, by the way, Valid Humans. Oh, we've got a brand new uh, thing we're trying up in the top right of my screen. Our friend Vorad has made this for us. It's going to count the kills. Let's have a look at the Americans. Nimitz class supercarrier pretending to be Gerald Ford. Again, we'll get Gerald Ford as soon as we can make it or someone makes it for us. And Matrix is moving the Tycho's and the Arleigh Burks. Any information, Matrix, about what you're doing or is it OPSEC? No, I'm going to create a screen and then I'm going to get in a ball. Right, the first, uh, not Raptors, but the Lightning's are going up. F-35C. 40,000 pounds of thrust, I believe that is. And he goes. First use of the sidekick modification America's using to allow uh, six AIM 260s. Launch rate valued humans are going to be in the favour of the American. These guys are going to get about 20% better launch range than the Fujian. Bear in mind, these guys are going to have four magnetic catapults. Fujian has three magnetic catapults. That said, there are plenty of J-15s up at the moment. Also, we've, start, it, we've started editing the flight models of these uh, aircraft. None of these aircraft belong to us. These are, for instance, Snowy Wolves. These are VSNs. But we've started editing the flight models because, to be honest, a lot of them are unrealistic. And I'm sick of seeing F-35 flying around at Mark II. They can't do Mark II in real life. We've now limited them to Mark 1.65 as per real life. So, again, sneaky, sneaky, bit by bit, we're adding more and more realism. It'll take a long time before we're all the way there, but we are slowly getting there. Oh, I should say the humans cannot see everything. They do have this data link screen, but they are restricted to what their coalition data link can see. So, for instance, Cannonball will not be able to see Grump because Grump's a stealth fighter. We're not sharpen the data link. But Grump will be able to see Cannonball because he is not a stealth fighter and the AWACS will see him. So I hope that makes sense. So that is how they're going to plan their attacks and stuff like that. We're going to see the humans tending to be on the flanks more. The problem with AI is they're going to go down the, the middle. I can sort of force them onto the flanks, but it actually works out to their detriment in the end. It's best to leave them to do what they want to do. It makes the fight a bit boring, but until core game developers fix that, that's just how it is. It's a big battle. 70, what is it? 74 plus humans versus 62 versus humans. It must be one of, if not the biggest naval battles so far, which is great to see. Lovely to see all this new 2020s tech in game as well this first phase of the battle is going to be completely imbalanced remember j15 with its aesa radar can only see f35 at about 15 one five nautical miles that's basically right on top of him but f35c with its aesa radar can see j15 at mm, not actually sure about probably over 100 miles as, as we're about to see so it's going to be hugely imbalanced affair and that is of course fifth gen you know that's why you pay the price of the development of fifth gen interestingly china will be fielding their own fifth gen naval fighter at some point the jc31 known as the j35 when no idea it could be 10 20 years from now who knows right right look at this guy this guy's leading the field i won't say the names because i don't want to give any tactics away but that's a guy distance between fronts in nautical miles currently of 124 between those guys it's not going to be long I reckon before our first missiles are going to be coming out. Max, I can uh, GCI it's since fog of war, correct? Yep, as long as it's done for fog of war, you can GCI if you want. First missiles are AIM 260 and the F 35s. Pretty Cannonball, decent. be advised, you have a bandit 087, 86 miles, Angels 45 and climbing. No response from China, obviously, because, uh, well, they can't see. The Americans, it's all stealth at the moment. That said, are you in stealth or um, Super Bob uh, Matrix? 
I'm gonna super walk. We model these missiles as conservatively, conservatively as we dare. They're gonna achieve optimal firing parameters about Mach 4.5, the AIM 260. Absolute maximum ballistic range of around 135 nautical miles. Okay, lots more missiles going up now. AI are going for AI. Human are going for human. It's not planned. It's just the way it goes. First missiles approaching the halfway point. It's lofted to 60,000 feet and it's cruising around Mark. Uh, I don't know. Three, two, two and a half, something like that. Obviously, two stage, aim 260. Is that what the final product's going to look like? We don't know. It's our best guess based on the open information that we've got at the moment. Okay, our first human has fired. What's he fired at? Absolutely no idea. See how he's fired it and it's turned away because he can make it guide on the date link. Okay, first missiles are going in now. Get ready for maximum boom boom. Kind of feel sorry for the Chinese at the moment. But they probably shouldn't have picked a fight with America. So it's not going for him. Look at that. Sometimes you will get shots that are overblown, fired right at the limits of the missile, and they will run out of whatever. Run out of tracking, run out of battery or something. It might be tracking, doesn't it? Maybe it's gonna track this guy. It is tracking! Now is the hostile going to notch him? Now, in real life, there's possible evidence to say that this missile cannot be notched. It's just been notched right there. You see what happened there? That's, that guy notched that radar. And that's because these actually have AESA radars in them. However, that aspect of AESA radar is not modelled in-game. It's a shortcoming of the game at the moment. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that. Can't increase the notch resistance. Let's see if this guy can notch this missile. He's going to notch it. You see, every time it does that, it's because it's hit the notch and he's beaten the missile. Nope. It reacquired. That's chasing him down a Mark II. You, sir, are a dead. First kill of the day. Oh, and there it is. You see up on the scoreboard. One J-15 down. No stealths. Fight is on. I'm going to try and watch as much as I can, viewers. This one's tracking. When you see its little nose wiggling about, it means it's tracking, and it's not been notched. He's a dead man. Very little you can do to get away from a... 80 kilo terminal section. Not a single PL-15 in the air, the air yet, obviously, because no one can see the stealths. The beauty of 5th gen, right? That's a complete fail at a notch. Oh, no, it's not. You see where it wiggled up? That's because he notched it temporarily, but it reacquired. How is it reacquired? I don't know. Reasons. It's, it's all going one way, guys. That's three down. However, a mistake. Look at that. This is AI being AI, I'm afraid. Sometimes they're just stupid. He got within 15 miles. And he's getting fired at. There was no reason to do that, but he just did it. Has been notched. Notching will be massively more emphasised with a stealth aircraft, by the way. We'll have... Uh, oh, just not Lots going on here. Five aircraft down. I've missed the kills, but they're enough. Jesus, they've wiped the Chinese out. Look at the difference. But again, AI being stupid and just flying straight into J-15. That is a very silly thing to do. Again, I don't... You know, it's AI at the end of the day. They'll probably never get any better. That said, it's quite easy to do as humans, to be honest. It's easy to criticise from God mode. Oh, Jesus, I thought we were going to lose our first stealth there. Six J-15s down. Man, this scoreboard's really helpful. And a merge. Whoever thought we'd get a freaking merge today? We have. Uh, I've seen fit not to give J-35C oh, guns, because if I did, I knew they would just try and get themselves into the dogfights, because AI is freaking stupid, and to be honest, humans would probably do it as well. As well as that, remember, once they're out of their six missiles, they will RTB. Well, they've got themselves mixed in here, which is kind of stupid, because there was no real reason for stealth to get mixed in with J-15 in real life. They're almost certainly would be that stupid. That's going to smack that J-15. Ouch. Oof. Good shot. Another shot on a stealth. Still no stealth. Shot down. Seven. Okay, 15 a hail of chaff. Seven J-15 shot down. No stealth shot down. Incredibly one-sided so far. Also note that on that guy. He's going to feel that at some point. Right. Again, this is the fox in the hen house. He's got in. And AI can do this stupid thing where it just doesn't realise that guy's got there. And this guy will go and wreak havoc, which is what he's doing at the moment. On that said, he's only got two radar missiles left and some heaters. Okay, I think this guy is RTB. Do you see these guys are just flying home now? Slow. That's because they're out of missiles and they're going to go and land. And or fuel. They'd also do it if they run out of fuel. And fuel is a major thing. When you've got big 200 plus mile battles, a fighter can only go about 50 to 100 miles if it's going to use its afterburners. And that's... A, oh, friendly fire. Oh, that's kind of embarrassing. That's expensive. No, it's fine. Right. Uh, so, hmm? Poosh. I might need a hand over it. Well, that man said... That was drop speaking, by the way. This... has found someone found that guy there look god that was shot from like 100 miles away that said 
It's down on speed. It's down to a thousand knots. Where is it? I can't see him. It's gone away. See if you see it's notching that missile. Down to 800 knots. Down to 700. There he is. Down to 700 knots there. That is how you beat a modern 2020s missile. Go down. Run it out of legs. Remember, these long-range modern missiles are only as good as legacy missiles by like A120C at low down. And that's now down 500 knots and it's now dead. Well done, Chinese flanker. Oh my god, look at the difference. There is Bullseye, the center. And look, all of the Chinese have been wiped out. That's worse than even I thought it was going to be. No Raptor, uh, what are they called? Lightnings have been shot down. Eight fourth gen Chinese jets have been shot down. Uh, well, he's very one sided so far. Value too many noise. These guys are too close together. Why are they so close together? Absolute fifth gen domination. Now, remember that said. The Lightnings will run out at some point. There's only 24 of them, and they only carry six missiles each, and they are very liberal with their missiles. Next hail of friggin' AIM 260s coming in now. Precipity. Great PK of the missiles so far. They've probably got about 90% PK in this battle so far. Oh, there's one miss. Right, make that 85% PK. Sorry for screen beaming at jerky. My head track is playing up to date. It does it sometimes. I don't know what the reasons are. We'll do the best we can as ever. That was overblown. Right, let's have a look at the tactical theatre so far. Oh, look. This guy's been shot at again. And he's done what he needs to do. It's down to 400 knots. Look, again, you bring one of these uh, missiles low, as in real life, they're pretty much hopeless. But look how far this lightning's pushed in. He's now 60 miles away from the Chinese carrier. And China do not want him there. The carrier probably won't be able to see him, to be honest, because he's got such a small radar cross section. That's a dead J-15. He's going up to intercept that scale. Boom, dead. Absolute domination. Again, for while it lasts, remember... These planes will go back and they won't rearm. But even in real life, they wouldn't rearm. Or they would, but it would take an hour. So, you know, as far as the battle's concerned, they wouldn't rearm. That guy dodged. Have to feel a little bit sorry for them, don't you? That guy's dead. That guy dodged. His missiles have been in the air for probably five minutes. They're such good missiles, his AIM-260s. They will just loiter for five minutes, drop down on something. Right, ten J-15s down for not a single stealth shot down. And that includes humans as well. China not doing so good right now. There's a legacy M260 fired about 20 minutes ago. And it is... Gliding. That guy's just fired a missile. Boom! What was missile was it fired? It was a heat seeker. Now that will destroy a stealth. Stealths are only marginally less cold. Oh, he beat it. Right, uh, I'll take that back. Ooh, right, this guy's got him. This guy's a crazy self. It's at 30,000 feet, and he's only 40 miles away from the Chinese carrier. But I think it's out of missiles, you know. I reckon it's out of missiles, so I don't know what he's doing. Again, it's just AI being weird. Look at this little fight going on here. This is human versus human. Now, here's the thing about these missiles. Down low in the mud, they're pretty terrible. So even at these relatively close ranges of 30 miles, they're pretty hopeless. Can't see him. He's down there somewhere. Look. There he is. That guy there doing some great notching. It's a way to beat the missile, beat its radar, and to beat it kinematically. Burn off all its mechanical energy or its kinetic energy. A whole maelstrom of AIM 260s coming in now. If anything, it's too many. Because they're wasting, at this point, they're wasting like uh, 10 AIM 260s on one guy. Which you just don't need to fire that many. If one's going to be beaten in a notch, they're all going to be beaten. Right, so far, 12 J 15 lost and 0 F 35 lost. Where is he? Oh, he's very much a corpse. Oh, no, he's not. Poosh is still alive. Look at that. Poosh is doing Poosh things. He's dodging about 20 friggin' AIM-260s. He's done what he needs to do. He brings it down into the big, thick, cold air down there. Even the 80 kilo terminal section is going to struggle. This guy's still dodging a maelstrom of uh, AIM-260s. And there's not much he can do. He, remember, he can't see these guys, so he can't fire back. All he can do is sit and dodge launch warnings. Not a good place to be a Chinese person. I better go and check the carriers to make sure they've not got gummed up. This is something we have to do, carrier maintenance. They will get gummed up. Okay, no obvious gumming up. I like to keep an eye on Cat 4. Cat 4 can get gummed up. They all looks pretty good so far. No, it's good. Oh, the red tails are up. So we're now out of F-35s and the red tail Super Hornets are going up. Absolute missile trucks, but not actually as effective as an F-35 because it can be seen. It means that it's a fair fight all of a sudden. Fourth gen v fourth gen. Now the question is how many J-15s are dead? Oh, there's things are going on here, look. Drop and this, this guy and this guy are fighting each other and look, he's seen, oh, that's because it's a Super Hornet. Look, this, this guy can be seen and so the human can fire missiles on him. 
And don't write these PL 15s off. They're pretty good. Again, we've just done them to, well, I'd say, pu conservative public data. If that's true, then they are genuinely pretty damn good missiles. And Matrix is kind of on the bad end of them at the moment. Now, look how far the Blues have pushed. With their big fifth-gen storm, they are now 40 miles from the carrier. They can't really go much further. And they're sniping J-15s as soon as they take off. Look, they're not even climbed to altitude. And they've got uh, aim 260s dropping down. Now the question is, will it change? Now they've run out of F-35s, will this change? Let's have a look at the uh, Chinese carrier, make sure it's not got gummed. Chinese carrier is very much not gummed up. Simmons put a destroyer right in front of the carrier. Probably a good reason for that, I don't know what it is, but... Are your planes taking off all right, Simba? Oh, it doesn't matter, they yes, are. Yes, they are. Well, one thing we learned about China, Valley Viewers, is don't write them off. Have they got the best tech here? Absolutely not. Do they just keep coming like like hordes and hordes and hordes? Yes, they do. And they've won some actually pretty good naval battles uh, that we've done before just by not giving up and just keep coming. So that's something to uh, to look for. Okay, that guy there has finally beaten all his missiles. I'm not going to stop naming them because I don't want to be accused of cheating. Uh, loads more missiles going out. Look at these missiles going out. That said, we've got an end of the lightning. That there is the last lightning. That one's going RTB. That one is going to fight. No, not a single American loss so far. That is freaking impressive. That will change. These uh, Super Hornets are very, very good aeroplanes, but they're only essentially as good as a flying shark, a J-15, in terms of technology. So you're going to start seeing some, some American losses. Uh, right, AIM-260 charging into a maelstrom of flying sharks and it's tracking. Flying sharks are going to get start getting more effective now. Is he going to notch it? He knows. Yes, he is. Good notch, sir. And no requiring. Again, could you notch a real AIM-260? I don't know. I don't know. Right, there's an active PL-15. Again, don't write PL-15 off. Who is that down there? Oh, there's another stealth we got too close. But look how easy it is to notch if you've got stealth. The Chinese are starting to push out. Now there's an end in sight of the F-35s. The Chinese are now pushing out. They are now... 50 miles out of their carrier. This guy's firing these missiles off, look. He's doing what he should do. These uh, stay away and just launch uh, from high range. This guy, oh, Jesus Christ, look. This guy's still, still having a standoff battle with this other human. But he's doing what he needs to do to stay alive. Look at that. Just, just. That's great fine. That's the best you can do out here is to just try and stay alive until the maelstrom of, uh, I like that word today, uh, of 260s stops falling. 14 J-15s down to no American shot down. Is this tracking? Yes, it is. Ah, I'll make that 15. Oh, poor old China. Boom. Look at that guide its way and sneak its way in. Is this active? No. These are just overblown shots of whatever, run out of guidance, run out of whatever. Well, if we look at the battlefield as a whole, it's still completely... you got this guy pincering the Americans as best he can. This guy pincering the Americans as best he can. This guy's pushing back out. This guy's pushing back out, so he's keeping the pincers at bay. 16 J-15s down now, more AIM-60s just lobbing over the top. Remember, 135 miles these will go in real life and in and in game. It makes tactically so difficult to fight against. Longer range than the PL-15. PL-15 is about 120 miles. Dodge. And look at the difference tactically of the board so far. Right, most of the F-35s I see are now moving from left to right. That means they are RTB. They're out of either fuel and or weapons. What do we got here? Things about to happen. Oof! 17 J-15s down. Oh, make that. It's about to be 18. Oh, got to feel a little bit sorry for them. Oh, good notch, sir. Well done. Hit that sweet spot just at the right time. AI uh, set to max skill level, which is what we've got here. Uh, it can get the notch perfect every time. A human, almost impossible to do it. AI, because they're ones and zeros, know how to get the notch absolutely perfect. And so they are a bit unrealistically good, to be honest. But to be honest, we like a challenge. Massive exchange yeah. between... Operation Fortune Cookie Defense is in effect. All right. Uh, oh, look at that. Uh, Valley viewers, I gave you Operation Fortune Cookie Defense. Look at that. Simba Wimba. You know what Simba if it works? Don't knock it. Uh, yeah, look at these two having an awesome battle. Two long-range behemoths. Uh, FA-18, Super Hornet, who's almost finally out of ammo. Against this guy here, Flying Shark, who's got exactly the same amount of ammo. Both doing what they need to dodge each other's missile. You can see they're both sort of down low. They're both in, in radar uh, slash kinematic notches. Both just dodging each other's missiles just by the skin of their teeth great fight you two humans same thing here 
This guy against this guy, this guy against this guy. Great work, guys. One thing they do have to, of course, worry about is fuel. Fuel is incredibly finite, and it's all modeled pretty realistically as well here. Quick sip of T-Valued viewers. Let's try and find out where the next battle... Okay, finally, we've got AI J-15 taking apart, actually firing missiles, and that's because the, yeah, the last F-35s are now gone. It's now Super Hornets, who can be seen on radar. They have a reduced radar cross-section of about 1.5 meters squared with these stores on. Either way, they're not stealth, and they can be seen by data link, which means these missiles will be fired at them. Like I said, don't write PL-15 off. Good notch. So we're going to start to see our first American losses soon, I imagine. Also, there seems to be a lot of overconfidence from the American AI at the moment. They're just like charging into everything that like they've won already. Don't write China off. It can be a dangerous kicking thing. First, PL-15s reached the first American today. This is not a stealth plane, so he will not notch as easy as those stealths. He can drop his tank and go defensive. I am defensive. I'm a red tail and I'm defensive. How about that? He beat it kinematically. Well done. That's one thing why AIM-260 is better than PL-15. It's half the weight, the terminal section is, and you will beat it kinematically. Look how many PL-15s are here. Beating all of them. Friggin' superhero super hornet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not beating that. He's all out of everything. He traded everything and he lost it. First American down of the day. 19 Chinese. 20 Chinese versus one American down. That's a pretty dang good tra ratio. And I should say... Here, I know people get upset when their side loses, but nothing is biased here. Everything is done. It's absolutely fair and square as possible and all done to open source as well. Uh, right, so where do we go now? Oh, the fight was won. This guy beat the American human that was there. Well done. Although he's pretty much used everything. He's Winchester now, basically, about one missile and probably about one kilo of fuel. Uh, and humans do get infinite respawns today. As long as it's fair on both sides, it's not, it's not a problem. This guy is still alive. How are you alive? He's just sucked about 30 American missiles. And this guy here is not happy. He's going in for a dogfight by the looks of things. Take him out. Right. So far, the flanks are owned by this coalition here. That colour. Right. Let's have a look what's going on here. Missiles raining out of the sky. Or maybe not. 20 to 2. Oh, we've lost another Super Hornet. Okay, the PL-15s are finally doing their job. They're chasing. I'm chasing you, little American. Wherever he is. So the Americans have finally got to actually start fighting on fair terms now. What the hell has this guy done? Where's he? How's he got there? This guy has just gone completely nuts and got hit. I know what he's doing. Can you see what he's doing, Valued Humans? Huh? Huh? And that's a fair... It's all fair in love and war, Valued Viewers. I think he doesn't realise I haven't given him a gun. I, but I guess I'll find that out the hard way. Whoa! This fight's getting all sexy. 23 to 22. Again... Remember, these missiles are only good for about 15, 20 miles down here. That guy wants to get that guy wants to get that guy in a dogfight. That's what he's trying to do. Smack a hundred fifty million dollar plane down. Hard to keep up now. Let's see. This is chasing some guy down. I am some guy. A wall of PL 15s now. Oh, YJ 62 Simba Operation Fortune cookies kicking in. These are subsonic Chinese cruise anti-ship missiles with a range of 350 kilometers that means he's managed to get his ships within 350 kilometers as you can see there of the americans to be honest they're no danger at all they're like 1980s technology i wouldn't get too worried about them but a thing's happening these guys are doing things they're dancing with each other i don't even know if they know that they're there and look at this guy huh huh and that is the most effective thing they can do. If you take that guy out there, that is what... All these missiles here are not being controlled by the radars of the planes. They're being controlled by these things here. Data link uh, contributors. AWACSes. Take them out. The other side is pretty much finished, to be honest. But they have ECMs and they have these guys. Guardians that are going to try and stop them. Ooh, what to watch. That is a $2 billion kill if it hits. It's not going to hit. It's a miss! It's a miss! And it's going to be a dogfight. Today's first dogfight. Watch this! In fact, there's two dogfights going on. I'm aware there's one down here as well, but this is the critical one. Now, does this man know? I don't know. He doesn't know that that guy's there, look. <laughs> and this guy's got... Oh, all things are happening. All sorts of things are happening now. Oh, I see. That was shot on that guy there. Now that... That's a cheeky shot. That man there... Give him a medal. Well, if it hits, it might not hit. Could this be a $2 billion shot? China will not be number one. It's a $2 billion shot. Ouch! First day of access of the day down. Amazing use of fifth gen technology, valued viewers. It's all fair and properly set up. 
26 versus 3 kills. This guy snuck by that guy. That's amazing. I don't know if there's any use at all, but it's bloody amazing. Oh, what happened there? Oh, Grunt finally bit his... You know what? He did what he needed to do. He got his $2 billion shot. Pang! 27 versus 4. One F-35 has been shot down. Three Super Hornets has been shot down. And it's at that point now where it gets hard to keep up. 28 versus 4. Uh, the interesting thing about that, there's only 30 air-to-air -air Chinese. Right, the fight is very much over here. I say that, but this guy's still going. How are you still going? He's not anymore. See you later, drop. About time you friggin' died. Oh, I had a good time. Yes, you did. Oh, and this guy is about to die as well. Well done, humans. You had a great, if nothing else. How did you dodge that? Wowie! Fair play. That guy got some skills on him. And look, and he sucked up three Super Hornets, allowing these guys, hopefully, to make a bit of a breakout. At this point, I'll just be happy if they're trying to kill something. Now, look at this array of pl 15s chasing these Super Hornets away. AIM-260 is better than PL-15 and we've proved it, but this is still a dang fine weapon. 30 to 5, that's a 6 to 1 kill ratio. It's going to keep going, starting to evening up now because it's 4th gen v 4th gen. How are you alive? That guy's crazy nuts. Again, tactically it's pretty useless, he's not going to kill anything, but... What he is going to do is suck all of these American resources. Look, four planes have committed to him, which allows these guys to... Make a bit of a dash. Look, and they're pushing the Americans back now. All these missiles on the Americans. While they're busy dodging, they can't really fight. Could be another American down here. It's a red tail. Red tail down. Bang! It's a missile shot. Probably a mad dog. But it's, it's a lot of hard work. Remember, these guys don't get to see all these lovely pictures we've got here. They've got no idea where this missile is. They roughly know it's azimuth. They don't know his range. They don't know how many. They don't know who fired it. So it's, uh, it's a real different affair. Finally, they got that guy there. That guy dropped up there. He took It took four of them to kill him. Five of them, actually, I think. So again, sucking up American resources, using his life wisely. Because of the good tactics of the Chinese, Americans have now been pushed back to the halfway point. Is it too late? Probably, because 32 Chinese are down, and they only carry 60 planes on that ship. But they've still got some fight in them. They've still got the ships. They've still got one AWACS. So they've still got teeth. Also, eight Americans down now. Don't know where all the killing's happening. Finally, they got Cannonball. He's, oh, and he's even going to take out something with his swan song. He took out. So he distracted five Americans there and shot one of them down. That's metal material there, viewers. Right, let's see how these guys are doing for ammo. Plenty of ammo. Ooh, this is very exciting, humanoids. Isn't it great? All this technology is allowing these mental fights to happen. Believe me, we've only got more planned. In fact, if anything, it's getting a bit out of control. Oh, anti-shippers are up! Anti-ship! Uh, Chinese anti-shippers are up with their giant supersonic YJ-12s. Oof! But they can't operate without air superiority. Can they kill these two Hornets, get his air superiority for just a few minutes, get the anti-ship missiles out? And win the day. It's theoretically possible. Because look, those guys that did the flanking tied about 10 Americans up. It's all their fuel, their ammo, they've sucked away. These things don't have a huge amount of fuel, these super bogs. It's all about anti-ship now. China have got their anti-ship out quickly than America have. And that's simply because they just had less planes. So the anti-ship has come out naturally quicker. Oh. Didn't even see it coming. 33. Wow, a massive fight back. 35 versus 11. That's a 3 to 1 kill ratio. China are actually doing a big fight back. And they do this in so many of our fights. They always get thrashed at the beginning and they have this amazing ability, resilience. That's an anti shipper going down. That's an anti shipper going down. So they fired these AIM 260s from all the distance away, 100 and something miles, and it's just wiping these anti shippers out. That's showing the efficacy of AIM 260. And why it's so important to get it on American wings right now. Because AIM-120D is shit. Get your new missile. Do you see what it did? It just TWS'd it, wiped out four anti-ship from Chinese. Before they could launch their missiles, which have in-game about 125 miles. Right, just in time, Americans. You just got there in time. Legacy YJ-62 is halfway across the map. Uh, like I said, they will have no effect. I can guarantee it. That's 40-year-old tech. No more reds in the American side anymore. Excellent work from the human Chinese to get so far behind enemy lines. Well done there. Uh, we've got this guy here starting to fire off missiles. Pang! Notes there was a tint to the colours. There was an orange tint to the Chinese, as you can see. Smoke. The Americans have got a white tint. The Europeans have got a green tint. And the um, 
Russians have a red tint. That's not real, obviously, is to help you guys see what's going on. We're designed the missiles for these big battles. Ooh, the thing's about to drop in his head, though. Good night, Simba! Woo! Just, just, he's got another one dropping down on him. Oh, poor Simba Wimba. Uh-oh, he's used, oh, he's used everything and beaten the first one. He's got a second one. Ah, Simba! At least he got his missiles out on the data link. They will track and they will chase something. Chinese are now still only 40 miles away from the carrier. But the good news is for them, the Americans have pushed back. And there's, oh, the first American anti-ship is out. Oh, isn't this exciting? The first time we've used this version 2 Lorazm A. Look at that. Talk a bit about more about the Lorazm. You guys want to just nerf it, so we've we've turned its radar cross section up to make it more visible. Instead of 0 0.005 meters squared, it's now 0 0.02 meters squared, about the size of a human head or a soccer ball. It can be seen by ships at the last minute, but traveling as fast as it does, as low as it does, there's still a very good chance ships won't see it. Practice or testing has proved mixed results. So we'll see how it goes, guys. Is that as good or bad as the real light rhythm? Eight? No one knows, because no one knows what the real radio cross-section is. So we're doing the best we can with your input. Don't get confused with Larasm B. Larasm A is the air launch version, completely different animal to Larasm B, the ship launch version, which uses completely different technology, although it looks almost identical. Okay, more Chinese anti-ship out with their big boom sticks, but someone saw fit to twist a bunch of AIM-260s from 100 miles away. Again, the beauty of the standoff AIM-260. Remember, this has been guided on the data link now, and there's no way those anti-shippers are hiding from a data link source. It's going to be the end of your anti-ship ambitions, I imagine. First two are going to be smacked. One. No. Two. 40 to 13 kills. Oof, 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 oof. Don't know where these 13 kills have happened. Oh, look, only one stealth fighter was shot down. Of 24, 23, ignoring humans, 23 have made it back to base. Isn't that just tells you the importance of this modern technology. Okay, the first Sams are up. Look, it's a Sam. It's an old kind of 90s uh, port system converted by America, uh, America, by China into what they call a HHQ-9. It's actually a pretty good system. I mean, it doesn't really stand up to modern, super modern systems, but you know, it's not something you want to mess with, put it that way. It is a telegraph pole. Oh, the resins are out. The resins are out. How did I not catch up? Right, the southern the resins are out. These ones are fired on battleship mode, so they will track the ship with the largest radar cross section. They are supersonic, sorry, they are subsonic once they're in cruise. While they're diving, they are slightly supersonic. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Lorazm A. What a friggin' beast. Beautifully modeled. Time to put a shout out for the GR development team. We have our own in house development team now making these uh, weapons, and we've got huge ambitions to make our own naval assets, our own planes, everything like that. It, like I said, things are getting a little bit out of control now, but it's awesome, and the guys are just super clever, which is good. We can attract such talent. Right, it means you guys, the end user, get to see more and more modern, look at that, impressive battles. Bear in mind what we were doing just a year ago, we were doing what? Legacy Hornets with legacy 90s weapons, with legacy defense systems. Now we're firing 160 mile missiles at each other. And then we haven't even talked about the lasers and rail guns yet, valid viewers. Oof, you're going to see some interesting stuff coming up in the next few months. Lowe's anti shippers just can't operate. Look, they've got aim 260s raining down a data link, they just can't operate. I'll say it one more time, I feel a little bit sorry for them. They take off, they do their job, but that just falls out of the sky. Look at them, and they're just coming in. Pang, pang, pang. Not a single Chinese anti ship missile is going to be launched today, I don't think. Super Hornets have got danger close, and the telegraph poles are coming out, but lots more Americans dying now. 14, and that's because they're. Oh, Grump just took a telegraph pole in the face. Grump, how does it feel? Where did that come from? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I was oh, watching Wimba. Go the American lines are seriously stretched now, look. There are very few American fighters in the sky now, but they don't need it because their Larasms are in. Can Larasm be shot down by aeroplanes? I have no idea. I guess we're about to find out, right? We've set it up as best we can. YJ's nearly... Oh, look, the SM2s. Oh, 90s SM2s being fired. To be honest, that's all you need against YJ-62. We've got our first Larasms being fired on standard mode. So these will go for the frigates or destroyers, these will go for the capital ship, which in this case is going to be the um, aircraft carrier. Oh, uh, no, China survived the onslaught. Look, that is most unfortunate for all and valued viewers. They put up a dang good fight, though. Look, they're still chasing Superbogs back with handily paced PL-15s. 
So they went out with a friggin' fight, right? And that said, it's still not over. Don't forget Operation Fortune Cookie. Maybe Simba's found a way of protecting Carrier. As well as that, these are untested valued viewers. This is what we call version 2. We did version 1, and they were kind of cool, but had some serious deficiencies. These are version 2. Even better, more realistic program, but we'll seek ahead. New model, everything's just super, super cool. Look how cool that looks, right? And this is the first test. Uh, of them, so it'll be interesting to see how they do. YJ's getting taken, might as well watch this for a little bit. Got 90s American Power versus... Oh, YJ-62s. The old vampires like that aren't much of a threat to modern supercarrier fleets anymore. And if you fire enough of them, anything's a threat, right? If you hit enough gold balls at a carrier, it's going to do some damage, but... In realistic quantities. Uh, China are making another push to get some more guys out there. Look at this guy, just took a drop, just spamming everything. That guy, on that guy there, that one on that guy there. Doing everything he can to keep those pesky Americans away. More telegraph poles coming up. I'm a telegraph pole and I'm old, but... I, I'm still kind of effective as a deterrent. Range of about 80 nautical miles. Oof, Red AWACS right. down. Red AWACS down?! Who did it? All their data link is gone. Oh, uh, red date link on. That will have a huge effect in A, what I can see, and B, what I can guide, how good their missiles are. To be honest, it doesn't really matter because 52 Chinese are dead and there's only eight more Chinese to go. So it's all completely uh, irrelevant at this point anyway. But well done for getting the last AWACS down. Why did they win? It was the stealth. It was the stealth. By the time the stealth were finished, they had 20 plus kills for zero deaths or one death. I mean, that's the one hope I have for Britain as a naval power, We've, we're using stealth's 5th gen F-35s. It's the one good thing we have. Oh, actually, your fight's good, but, you know. That's not a naval asset, obviously. Another anti-shipper down. Oh, poor old China didn't get a single friggin' anti-shipper sold out. And look at all these Larasms. Probably 20 Larasms, each with a thousand pound warhead and a penetrating cage nose. Each one of those will sink a ship. It won't sink a, it won't sink a super, super carrier, but it would put a super carrier out of action. If you get a thousand pound warhead penetrator in, it would do so much damage. Even to a really good fire control crew. It would put it out of action. I'm, I'm almost certain of it. Look at all these guys RTB. They're all RTB. Of 74 aircraft, America have only lost 15. That's a damn good day against full-scale war, which is what this is simulated. All right, things are slowing down a bit. Although this guy's going in for some action. Look at that. I am Matrix. Might as well say now. I don't think I'm going to give much away now. I'm doing a thing. Look at that missile bend. Bend, my friend. Bend. And he's completely invisible. Look, this, they have no idea he's there. Still some PL-15s going up. Desperately trying to defend themselves. Effectiveness at this point, probably zero. I don't expect to see any more Americans die. Or maybe some humans, but certainly not. Uh, look at this guy. He's going over his own freaking Larasm. Look, look. He's merged with his own Larasm. One thing I'd actually quite like to see is if Larasm can be intercepted by a human aeroplane. I'm going to look at this bunch of anti-shippers going out. Oh, a whole bunch more Larasm is about to be fired. I'm American and I'm extremely angry that you attacked me. These ones are firing on, on capital battleship mode. There it is. There is the red. You see his little wings come up? Look how cool that is. Oh, it's so cool. See his little wings pop out? Off he goes. And done. Four of America's finest in the air. Look at them. That's 16. Each at, what, three, four million? Splash one matrix. Oh, you got a stealth! Oh, yeah! Okay, that's a, that's, that's a bit that's a bit good. Now, don't worry too much, valued viewers. They've got no AWAC, so they, they won't appear on their data link anyway. So they, they they won't be able to find them. Or if they do, they'll find them visually. Maybe they leave a little kerosene trail or something. No, nope, they don't. I can tell you they don't. They're clean burners. Oh, this is going to be fun, then. Oh, it also says on the front, warning hot. I have to warn you, the front of the Larasm is hot, guys. Oh! Look, some last minute anti ships are going up. Chinese, maybe they will get some YJ 12s out. I confirm, I've got them on radar. Right, they can find Lorazm. They can find Lorazm. Why is that? Maybe because seeing them from the side, you see that's drop, seeing them from the side. How interesting. Well, it's all fair in love and war. I didn't tell him where they were, so again, it should be a relatively realistic proposition we've got nope. here. Nope, I'm going to end up taking out my own fucking anti shipper. I'm not sure it's going to make a massive difference now, anyway, Tim, but the best you can do, pro no, you missed anyway. The best you can do now is. Probably defend a carrier, I don't know. Kind of, this guy here is going for another attack. And in fact, he's fighting with this guy here, as you can see. Note, they're more Larasms going out. All of the American air-to-air, -air, apart from this guy here, is now gone. It's out of fuel or it's out of missiles, and it's busy in the circuit here trying to land. But all of the Chinese has gone as well. All they've got is anti-shippers. That said, and this was really not expected, the Chinese anti-shippers... We're 51 minutes in, by the way. They're almost in firing parameters. I did not expect them to fire today. America has just run out of fuel. It's run out of weapons. 
Even its giant 74 person fleet. Lorasms are getting close now. I want to see if these YJs get fired. That said, they've got a friggin' aim to 60s coming down on them. Ooh. I just shot down an AGM 158. What's a 158? Oh, it's a Lorasm. That's Lorasm. Right. They can be shot down. Pang. Guy down. Right. Isn't that interesting, guys? Like I said, the radar cross section, if we put it as you guys wanted, 0 0.02 meter squared. It's still technically on the edge of stealth. You dropped splash their last hope. Yes, you did. That said, he's about to get his comeuppance. Hello, Grom. Love from Simba. Push got all Rasm. They're killing the Rasms. What on Grom? Look at that. It just didn't have quite the leg, Simba. Well done. Good dodge. That was. Well, you know, if you wouldn't have told them. Or, uh, or my MW. What the hell is there this thing go. called? See? Missile warning. MWS still works. So, save, uh, save my blushes. So I we're going to hear a boo, 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 boo whenever you shoot at me. So We're in the position now where the Rasms are being shot. Bang! Another Lorasm down. That's Poosh and Drop shooting them. They can see them. Remember, Flying Shark has got a Easter radar on it. It will pick even the tiny little human heads up. This is not something I expected to see today, guys. An interesting technology demonstrator. The Americans are running out of freaking Lorasms. Where are you, Drop? There's Drop. Oh, the screen's gone funny. Sorry, I don't know why the screen's gone funny. Oh, look at that! We're running to it! Go on, Drop. I want to see him win now. That's something I think I think I was friggin' see today, guys. Lorazm being chased by guns. Careful drop. The problem with that flanker is its gun is pointed up slightly. So he has to look go down to fire it. It's almost an impossible shot. It is an impossible shot. Bit of a drop problem, but. Oh, it's turning! Drop is turning! It's avoiding you! That intelligent seeker head I told you about. Oh, we're as a mace. Yeah. Doing a bit of dodging, guys. And he's outrunning him now. <laughs> That's a freaking awesome fight. What's it doing? Oh, oh, it's in the final stages. Oh, this is so exciting. Right. How's Operation Fortune Cookie going to do? Oh, drop smash him over to the sea. I run out of fuel. Though. It's gone around Operation Fortune Cookie Simba. It's gone around the edge. Larasm, too smart for its own good. Bye, Grump. You motherfucker. They couldn't defend it. Oh, look at that. They couldn't defend and it's carrying 3,000 miles away and boom. Oh. And Grump splash four. Oh, boys, boys. Boys, red carrier is dead. They're just gonna be mopping <laughs> up now. Well done, the Rasms. They went friggin' around Operation Fortune Cookie Simba. Who would have thought that would happen? That's just good coding. That's what that is. Jesus, look how many more were coming. Oh, I don't think I can take any more of this excitement, guys. Your oh. fortune cookie has been cracked. That said, I'm only in trouble for cheating, but there is still something that China's put in, got in play that could still win the war or could still get a draw, so I'm not going to say anything yet. But just keep an eye on that value, humanoids. Look at the, the Americans have been pushed back, but they're on, the Americans are on the defense now. They're just firing their Lorazans from 200 miles away. That's all they need to do now. Bye-bye, Type 52. We set these to capital ship mode, so they'll probably still go for the carrier, even though it's dead, because... Oh, someone's fired a missile at it. Good shot! He hit it. Well done, sir. Yeah, because games have got weird naval bugs in that they absolutely will refuse to fix just because it's me asking them to fix. We see the uh, they probably go for the carrier that's underwater. Or I could be wrong. If they could hit the ship. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're going for no. They're going for the destroyers, guys. All right. Maybe it's been fixed. No, they've just gone into the sea because they went for the sinking carrier. Then my oh, you guys are wasting these arasms. Well done, got him. Now said, as many as you shoot down, America will just send more and more and more. And there's still Operation Save Face going on that I'm not allowed to say anything about. Climbing for the shot, they're climbing for the shot. They want to get as high as they possibly can to give these, uh, in real life, because they're climbing high, these missiles will go about 250 miles. In game, only 125 miles. Again, I require you guys to put pressure on the company that makes this game because they're actively not helping us. So you guys, with your spending power, might be able to get something done. Expect that thing to be fired. There it is. Smash! YJ-12's in the air, guys. Now you can shoot the Lorasms down. Can you shoot a freaking Mark IV 
YJ down. That said, they're not selfie tools, so you'll certainly be able to track them easier than Lorazm. Oh, wow, look, just in time, because all these AIM 260s are coming in now. Bombers are about to be shot down. Now, this is a big missile. This is the way China does things. Sod still, put a massive motor on it and just get it through by force. Very different to the American way. Oh, and these two simultaneously fired. Last hurrah from China. 12, YJ-12, time on target by fluke. And missiles are coming in, guys. Oh, YJs are now getting super close. SM2s are out. 90s tech, shooting down, break. 2018s tech. Could America have a red face at the end of this? That said, it's not hypersonic tech. This stuff, SM2, can shoot down supersonic, and this stuff is not hypersonic, it's supersonic. I think, yeah, oh, look at that, they're being shot down. I think. Ah, sorry for the jerkiness. Rekar is being what we call a bitch. They might get through still. Look at that, Aegis. Defense Network doing its job. I would have just smashed them to pieces. Well done. Right, four more coming in. Don't bother respawning. Don't bother respawning, guys. We're ending in like... I sacrificed myself. Oh, there you go. The cause. I'm not sure there's much Your cause, cause left. Your cause was sunk. Ooh. All right, guys. I'm just watching a couple of uh, Loras. I just want to see if they go for that sunken carrier that sunk about 20 minutes ago. Look. Tr drop absolutely refuses to give up. He's trying to stop Lorazm still. You will not want to stop Lorazm. Maybe you will. Maybe you will drop. Either way, you'll sleep well tonight. Smack! Right, will they go for the sunken carrier? Or will they go for the actual threat? They're going to go for the threat. Smash. No, they go for the sunken carrier. You can't tell me that's not frustrating, humans. Guys, I'm pausing the server. Woof! At 1 hour, 4 minutes and 41. Got to be the best one we've had so far. Brilliant flying by the humans. The Chinese knew they couldn't win this head on so they went around the flanks and they did tie huge resources of americans up they probably tied in total a dozen americans up but it just wasn't enough the f-35s and the americans did so much initial damage they took 20 chinese ai down for basically no losses at that point it was never going to be a fair fight and by the time the american fourth gen got up the chinese were probably down to a third of their reserves and they could never come back from there that said they fought, fought amazingly and they can track Lorazm. Humans have trapped Lorazm. There's no, like I said, there's no weird cheating on here. They found it with their radars, fair and square, and they shot them down with 0.02 meters squared. We've got the model that. Ships, interestingly, they couldn't shoot them down, but humans can. So, and all of our new tech worked. Lorazm worked, well, it still trapped the ship, but again, that's out of our, we can't get to that bit of the code. The Lorazm otherwise worked fine. YJ did its job even though that's a cool game. The Super Hornet worked fine. The Stealth worked perfectly. The detection of the Stealth worked perfectly. PL-15 worked perfectly. AIM-260 worked perfectly. There's some amazing 130 mil shots you guys were doing. Some of them from the AI on Twiz. Bang, bam, bam, bam. Four bombers down in one in one ripple. And you took both AWACSs out. Great run from uh, Grump. Went in, used his fifth gen Stealth. Got point blank. They did find him in the end, but not before he took out a $2 billion AWACS. Uh, feedback from my boys. Unfortunately, that's just how the cookie crumbles. That's how the cookie crumbles, Grump. Just that stealth is how it's going to dominate. Yeah, it really does. Now we've got it set up properly in game. The next one after this, value viewers, now we've finally got all this working properly. The next one is to go US with UK versus China and Russia. That's going to be really interesting. We're definitely going to need to get a bigger server for that. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you later.